hard weather, Mr. Bumble. You're hard indeed, ma'am. Anti parochial weather this month. <laughs> we have given away, Mrs. Corney, we have given away 20 quarter loaves and a cheese and a half this very blessed afternoon, and yet them paupers are not contented. They're not. When are they ever, Mr. Bumble? Uh, when would they be, ma'am? Why? Here's one man that, in consideration of his wife and large family, has a quarter loaf and a pound of cheese, full weight. Is he grateful, ma'am? Is he grateful? Not a copper farthing's worth of it. What does he do but ask for a few coals? It is only a pocket hanky chief full, he says. Coals? What's he going to do with coals? Uh, toast his cheese with them, that's what. Mm -hmm. And then come back for more tomorrow. It's always the same with these people, ma'am. Give them an apron full of coals today and they'll be back for another the day after tomorrow. Mm. Brazen as alabaster. I've never seen the pitch it's come to. <laughs> the day afore yesterday, a man, you have been a married woman, Mrs. Corney, and I may mention it to you, a man <clears throat> with hardly a rag upon his back, goes to our overseer's door when he's got company coming for dinner and says he must be relieved. Well, as he wouldn't go away, our overseer sent him out a pound of potatoes and a half a pint of oatmeal. My aunt, says the bidder, what's the use of this to me? I mean, you might as well give me a pair of iron spectacles. Very good, says our overseer. Taking them back again. You won't get anything else here. Then I'll die in the street, says the vagrant. And I went, says our overseer. Oh, that's a good one. Well, Mr. Bumble. <laughs> well, he went away, ma'am. And he did die in the streets. These are obstinate pauper for you. It beats anything I could have believed. But don't you think, Mr. Bumble, that... Out-of-door relief is a bad thing. I mean, you are a gentleman of experience and know these things. Come. Yeah. Mrs. Courtney, out-of-door relief, properly managed, properly managed, ma'am, is the parochial safeguard. The great principle of out-of-door relief is to give the paupers exactly what they don't want. Then they get tired of coming. Dear me. Oh, that's a good one too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mrs. Corney, a betwixt you and me, that is the great parochial principle. <laughs> and that is why, if ever you look at those cases that you see in the audacious newspapers we have, you'll always observe that sick families are relieved with slices of cheese. It's the rule now, Mrs. Corney, all over the country. However, these are confidential matters, official secrets, not to be discussed, except, as I may say, amongst the uh, parochial officers, uh, such as ourselves. Um, uh, this, oh. ma'am, is the port wine that the board ordered for the infirmary. <laughs> Clear, fresh, genuine port wine. Fresh out of the cask this afternoon, clear as a bell. And now, sentiment. It's a very cold walk, Mr. Bumble. It blows, ma'am, enough to cut one's ears off. <laughs> Would you take a cup of tea? Sweet, Mr. Bumble. Very sweet indeed, Bob. I 
I see you have a cat, Mom. Oh, yes. I'm so fond of them, Mr. Bumble. And uh, kittens, too, I see, yes. And they're so happy, so frolicsome, so cheerful. Such, they're such companions for me. Such nice animals, uh, so very domestic. Oh, yes. So fond of their home. Mm. It's quite a pleasure for me. Mrs. Corney, ma'am, I, I, I would say this, ma'am, that uh, any cat or, or kitten that could live with you and not to be fond of its own <laughs> must be an arse, ma'am. Oh, Mr. Bumble. <laughs> it's no use disguising facts, ma'am. I drown them myself with pleasure. <laughs> Mr. Bumble. You are a very cruel man, and very hard-hearted besides. Hard-hearted, Mom. Hard. Oh. Are you hard-hearted? Mrs. Corley. Oh, Mr. Bumble, what a very curious question from a single man. What can you be wanting to know that for? <coughs> Mr. Bumble, Mr. Bumble, I shall scream. Who's there? 